We're back. It's almost like we never left. <laughs> I've decided to come back up here today because the road I was walking on before is a, is a road, okay? Cars drive on it. But where I parked is straight at the intersection of a trail. And that's what I'm walking down here. So thought I would do that. You know, walk on a proper trail where cars are not allowed. And that way I don't have to be paranoid about being struck and killed, even though I'm walking on the wrong side, like so many people pointed out. Thanks, Dad. Anyway, so yeah, I was wrong. I was wrong, I was wrong. Remember when I said that that scraper holder video that I did in an afternoon wouldn't do well? I got up this morning, I posted that video on the scraper thing. That probably won't do well. Well, it did. <laughs> it, it did better than I expected. At this point, it has, I think it's 187,000 views, which is amazing, which is something I never expected. No way did I expect it would get that many. Especially when you look at the wooden box with the interlocking lid, the video that was right before that one did so poorly. Poorly being a relative term, you know, 45,000 views. What the heck was that? Something took off and flew. <laughs> I startled it and it startled me. Yeah, you just can't predict what's gonna do well. You can't, you can't predict. The pyramid video is doing reasonably well too. Over the past couple of days, it's gotten quite a number of views. It's also gotten quite a number of uh, comments and I haven't been reading them all. I've been just skimming them, looking for the truly nasty ones so I could delete them. So this section of trail goes from that road up there back out to the main road. And that looks, it looks like it's around a, one kilometer, which is, you know, that's the Canadian mile, okay? But the scenery is, is boring. Like there's nothing to see. Got trees and fields and bushes and more trees and more fields and more bushes. It's, it's all the same thing. So there's nothing interesting to look at. So what else can I talk about? Well, I can talk about some more um, stone lifting methods that I didn't talk about in that last video. And uh, one of them I, I completely dismissed. Because as absurd as the water thing is, I mean, you're still dealing with stones. There's kind of a theory going <laughs> that uh, these are not stones at all. They're concrete blocks that were made on site, like right up on top of the pyramid type thing. I think. I didn't look at it too deeply. That is a interesting concept, I'll tell you. But once again... It's absurd. What makes concrete a really convenient thing to use today is the concrete plants where it's made. And I went and uh, installed doors at a couple of concrete plants before. They don't have a lot of doors, but they have gigantic buildings where they do this stuff. And uh, it's a big production, and I don't think you want to add that to your list of activities when you're trying to build a pyramid. And then not to mention that the stone that was used was quarried right there. I mean, they have the quarries, they, they're right there. What kind of trees have we got here? There's some uh, paper birch. I think it's paper birch, I know it's birch but it's peeling off like paper, so I'm gonna call it paper birch. And that looks like oak, very small though, and same here. And that one over there, those are aspen, certainly, which is very common around here. 
And you can see behind me the same thing. There's the birch and the aspen right there. And not sure what that is. Small, obviously. I'm not a tree guy, okay? I know wood well enough. I know how to butcher it anyway. All right, I'm coming up on the end, so I guess I'm gonna turn around here and head back. This is definitely a kilometer, so point you in the direction that I'm traveling. I'm heading into the sunset. Yeah, the port concrete is another you know, daydream because it's not practical, not for the technology that they were supposed to have at the time. And plus, these stones have been looked at by actual geologists and verified for what they are. I mean, you can tell the difference between a composite material and a natural material. What's the other thing? Oh yeah, people have asked me how long would it take doing it my way, tipping the stones up like that? And uh, I'm thinking that of all the operations involved, like uh, quarrying the stone and then moving it to the site and then positioning it once it's up there, the actual lifting part is the quickest because all you need to do is do it. And it's done. So I'm sure as fast as they can feed the stones, capable crews of people that know how to do this would be doing it and lifting it up. And they would be probably having one of the better jobs actually, because they would probably have relatively long breaks in between lifts. Once again, that's all my opinion on a video that I made where I called it and repeatedly said that this is how I would build pyramids, not how they were built. I'm not saying how they were built. I'm saying how I would build them or try to build them or the things that I would try to begin with. There's a very important <laughs> distinction between saying you absolutely know how something's done and saying this is the way you think you would do it. As for removing the stones, I talked about that in the website article. Um, in my like, in my belief, moving the stones from the quarry, if the the ground is not stone itself, you could lay stone. That would be one of the first tasks you would do. Indeed, it's one of the very first things that happens on any construction site: is you build access to the site itself. You build a road. So I believe. They would have quarried enough stone to lay a nice smooth road right up to the site. And after they had all the stones transported over that road, they would have peeled the road up again and use it to finish off the pyramid. That's what makes sense to me. Someone asked me in the comment on the last walk and talk video uh, what I think the pyramids are for. Certainly they would have to be something based on belief. If you look at any structure from like uh, any time less than say 300 years ago that was impressive, it was built for religious reasons. I mean, all these great cathedrals, even the ones that haven't burned down yet, were built for religious reasons. Sure, there, of course, there were castles and such built as well, and they were very impressive, but they were paid for. I mean, that was your main line of defense when, you know, the rabble horde invades. You needed a stout uh, castle to try to keep them out. At least starting to get dark here now. Not that I'm getting afraid. Although this does look like the kind of place where the Blair Witch would be hanging out. Uh, I was married to her, though, for 10 years. And... Uh, I don't know how many times I thought about actually, you know, whether it would trouble my conscience too much <laughs> if she wound up in the woods, <laughs> buried in the woods, uh, to get rid of her. Kidding! I'm kidding! <laughs> of course I'm kidding! I'm not kidding. This was a really nice walk. I'm going to have to do this again. 
this trail goes for miles and miles and miles. So I could try a different place the next time, except it won't look any different. So I may as well just come back here again. The advantage of coming here is that there's a place to park. The other ones, I was looking at Google Earth and there's no place to park except for on the road and I don't want to park on the road. Here I'm parking on a lonely road and there's actual place to pull off. Yeah, I took a few days off to not do any video work. I just felt like I was a little bit overloaded. And so I decided to skip this week as far as video making goes. I did go out and do something yesterday and I filmed it, but I didn't like the results, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother editing it. I don't think the project is actually worthy of uh, posting. I mean, my, my goodness, it can't be as good as me lifting a stone, one stone onto the other. No way. That's compelling video right there, man. Anyway, I'm almost back to the van, so I'll wrap this one up here. And thanks for coming with me on this walk.